Happy birthday to you, Ophiosis and Sagittarians. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Let's get in your rhythm and see what is coming out, what is transpiring. Um, how this year, because you're just about to start 2020, and how this year is going to affect you guys. All right, so this birthday reading is from... Um, the 14th until the 20th. Um, so it is from the 14th of December until the 20th of December. So we are um, working with, uh, um, let's shift this here. So we are working with um, the angels and guides uh, in order to see what is coming up. So I want to say to each and every person, thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Remember, we go row by row. The first row is the people who were born on the 14th. So we go row by row. All right. So I see that this year is a year is going to be victorious and successful over some sort of a deceptive issue, situation that you were dealing with. I see um, multiple opportunities is coming up. People are finding out the truth. I see a lot of you are going to be having some sort of a new start coming in. When it comes on with a family, because people are finding out exactly what has been transpiring. So the Ten of Cups is here. And uh, um, it has to do with family. So a lot of you are going to be bombarded with issues that have to do with family. So however this is working out, however this is affecting you, um, whatever is transpiring, you're going to be having to deal with issues with the family in this year. So... Um, be aligned with the energy and uh, be open and uh, try and resolve whatever the issues and situation. Oh, that is coming up and transpiring. So we're going to be clearing the energies um, of uh, um, in uh, this birthday reading. So um, we're calling up on the pure light beams uh, um, and uh, the silver white pyramid um, in order to bring in... Uh, Positive alignment of energies, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, let's look at the people who were born on the 14th of uh, December. You are dealing with a corporation institution. There was some sort of a deceptiveness. And I see um, um, people are trying to create some sort of an issue, or some sort of an imbalance. So, it has to do with family. Um, it could be at the workplace. It could be issues that you're dealing with with family and that sort of a thing. I see horrible deceptiveness um, that is going on and people are finding out exactly what is transpiring. So a lot of you are going to be finding out some sort of a jealousy, but you're going to be victoriously overcoming this and you're going to be successfully overcoming um, the jealousy because people in a corporation institution have found out uh, what was happening and they're now putting the puzzle together and seeing the truth uh, of some sort of a deceptive play. A new love is going to be coming in for you guys and this is going to be wonderful. So this year is a year of uh, issues at work, uh, jealousy, people who were very jealous, they're finding out some sort of a deceptive play. Um, that a Libra and a Cancer have done. Truth is coming out and I see you're going to be victoriously overcoming the situation and finding out and seeing the deceptive play that has transpired. You have seven and two, which is nine and five. Okay. So you have two, you have five and you have seven. So be aware of this. So let's see. What are the extra messages coming out for you? You're going to be successful over some sort of a deceptive play that was happening and transpiring. People are going to be finding out what was happening. A government institution organization is going to be finding out that there was some sort of a jealousy and some deceptive play that a Libran has created or people have created around you. Some of you is a Libran, some of you is other people. So they're going to be finding out what these people have done and how these people have created um, some really deceptive situation. And I see a lot of love is going to be coming to you. You're going to be victorious and successfully overcoming whatever the issue and whatever that was playing. Then we're moving on to the people who were born on the 15th. Happy birthday to all the people that was born on the 15th. 
um, you guys are ophiosis. So from the 14th until the 17th, you're ophiosis. 18, 19, and 20 is Sagittarian, okay? But I'll let you know when we go to the Sagittarian. So another beautiful Ophiosis uh, person who were born on December 15th, you're an Ophiosis person. Some sort of information is going to be coming out um, and love is going to be offered to you. I see you're going to be successfully overcoming whatever issues that is going to be coming up in this year. This year is your 2020 year, so be aware of that. You have just finished 2019. So um, here we go. So judgment call is coming down. There was some sort of a deceptive play. You can see the seven of swords um, that people are finding out what was happening and what was transpiring. You're going to be victoriously, successfully overcoming um, what they have done and how they have created a whole lot of problems and issue. Truth is coming out. I see also love. A lot of you between the 14 and the 16, love is uh, going to be offered to a whole lot of you. And whatever the issue and problem and situation is, you're going to be successful. So with the energy of the judgment call, judgment call is coming up and you're going to be successfully overcoming a whole lot of issues. A whole lot of new opportunities is going to be coming in for you. Um, people are going to be awarding you for a, a well done work um i see this is coming up this is an um a really positive alignment of energy in this year so a lot of you are leaving the negative energy behind you and moving forward and i see people are going to um offer you a lot of love because uh, you have successfully overcome some sort of a deceptive play that was happening and i see you're going to be successful um, with a, um, buying a new house, successful, um, with your business, successful at work. So this is going to be good for, um, you guys that is born on the 15th because it is a year of success for you is as if you're leaving the negativity behind you and moving forward. So you're going to be successful with a situation in, with a organization, institution or at work, new, um, work could be coming up or you could be starting your business and your business is going to be taking off. Love is the name of the game and this year for you and you're going to be leaving all the destructiveness and the deceptive play that people were doing. I see you're going to be victorious and successful and truth is going to be coming out. So this is good. So you have judgment, which is... um um one you have one um new love is coming in two um you're going to be successful three you're going to be successful um and judgment call so it's going to be a very very positive year for the people who are born on the 15. so you have twice two um no you have one two and three so this is going to be a really powerful powerful year so be happy um for what is coming up so that is a absolutely wonderful as we move on to the people who were born um on the 16 the year is going to be a, a, a magnificent year is a year that you're going to be dealing with issues with your mom um a year that you're going to be victorious with your materialistic stability people are going to be finding out the truth i see um people are really seeing your work and what you have done um then we see the energy of the mother your mother is going to be asking you for love if you and your mom had some sort of a problem i see a resolution is going to be coming in so um for all of you who had some sort of an issue with your mom or with an older female i see uh, this person is going to be offering you love and an excuses and you're going to be successfully overcoming issues there we go um some of you um if you are married um you are going to be having some sort of a, a situation with a family nine of cups is in reverse but not to worry because you have the six of um ones which some sort of a good news is going to be coming in some of you could be getting pregnant in this year you men could be getting married uh, or moving in with someone, which is so beautiful. Um, what is transpiring is that uh, um, some of you could be getting pregnant in this year. So I have to advise you guys that some of you could be getting pregnant in this year. But this year is going to be an extremely good year because we have the energy of the six of one. 
not to worry there could be some sort of a family complexity but it will resolve itself how there is nothing to worry about a lot of you are going to be happily leaving this year moving forward a lot of positive alignment of energies a lot of positive emotion um this year is a very emotional year but it is a positive emotional year i see you're going to be victoriously successfully overcoming whatever issues there is um, whether it's a mother, a grandmother, or aunt, whoever this person is, uh, and a resolution is going to be coming in. So they're going to be finding out some deceptive play um, with um, someone um, that was doing something deceptive. They're going to be catching the person. They're definitely going to be catching the person. They're going to be finding out. It's like a corporation institution is going to be finding out uh, um, someone who has been creating um, some deceptive situation and they found out uh, who have been accessing and who have been harassing some of you. So if you were born under 16 and you had some sort of a problem where um, a whole lot of issues and it's as if one issue um, is over and then the other one, they're going to be finding out the person who is behind this and who was harassing you. I see the energy of the fox and this energy of the fox is that they're finding out some sort of a deceptive play and the person who did it, okay? So there's a whole lot of stuff is coming up with family, but it's going to be good. A lot of you could be getting pregnant. Be aware of this. Three, your materialistic stability is going to be good. Good news is going to be coming in. It's going to be a really powerful year where they finally found out. Let's say that you had identity theft or someone else was using your information, accessing your information. They're going to be finding out and finding out the truth of what has been transpiring and catch the person who was doing it. So this is good. Uh, so you guys have three, six, and um, 12 um, and 3. 3, 6, 12 and 3. Do not use these number if you're there, your bad lucky number, okay? Then we are moving on and we are looking at the people who were born on the 17. Um, this is the last ophiosis. So anyone who were born on the 17th of December, you end the zodiac energy of the ophiosis. Okay. So again, if you were born on December 17, you are the last ophiosis person of this zodiac period. So let's look and see what is happening, what is transpiring, what is coming up. Um, for this zodiac period is that, uh, um, we see the energy of the devil in this year, okay? So the energy of the devil mm -hmm, um, has to do with a Leo and a Cancer. So a lot of you are going to be dealing with a Leo and a Cancer. Um, they have, uh, they have create. I see as uh, some sort of an ending is coming in. And I see money is going to be returning to a lot of you. So a lot of you who were born on December 17, some sort of a good news and celebration. Good news. You're going to be celebrating and good news is coming in that they have caught a Leo and a Cancer and um, uh, who have created a whole lot of deceptiveness. And I see a whole lot of money is going to be coming back to you because they have realized that some sort of a, a play where a Leo and a Cancer have created a whole lot of obstacles for some of you. The center of your reading is about family, a lot of family drama, but uh, um, it's going to be good. You're going to be overcoming this. Um, you can see um, the pyramid is uh, the energy of the devil. So a lot of you are going to be realizing that uh, you could have a, can a cancer and a Leo that has been working against you for quite some time. And they're going to be finding these people. And I see you're going to be having a new start at the end of the year. It is good to ask for a year reading. It is program on yourself. Please remember um, to share these readings. So it's going to be family issue. Okay. A lot of you are going to be having some sort of a family issue. But it's going to be positive. The energy of the devil is as if someone was blocking you, intervening um, in a situation. And I see they're going to be finding out who this person is and what this person has done. I see you're going to be victoriously overcoming some sort of an issue and problem that was created by an older cancer woman. I see an end is going to be coming in to this person. So you have 7, 10, 1, 
and 5 15 which is for the energy of your uh, spirit guides is going to be helping you out you're at a crossroad but it is positive uh, you're going to be coming to a crossroad but it's positive because uh, um, they're going to be finding out exactly what was transpiring. They found out some sort of uh, deceptive play in a corporation institution. And I see truths is going to be coming out. So wonderful year. I'm moving on to the Sagittarians. So Sagittarians um, who were born on the 18th of December. I see a new story is coming up for you. Um, the cycle is not yet over. Um, you're not coming out being happy. But a new cycle is coming up. Sagittarian people are going to be finding that there um, was some sort of a deceptive play in a family. Is it your family? Is it you? Have you done it? How is this affecting you, Sagittarian? Um, I see no new story for a Pisces, Cancer or a Scorpion person. I see that this person have um, taken a lot of money. Whoever this person is, is uh, um, between the age of uh, 45 years and older no new start is coming up for this person i see um they're going to be finding out that this person has stolen a lot of money and truth is going to be uh, coming out and they're going to be dealing with this this woman in a very harsh way i see um some sort of family issue you a sagittarian could have created family issues or created issues for other people and I see that you're not going to be successful. I see a lot of problems. And you, Sagittarian, has something to do with some sort of a family money. And I see you, you know, it's as if some of you, Sagittarian, want a new start with a Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpion person. And this person is saying no. This person is uh, saying no. And I see an end is going to be coming in for this person. So be aware. So you have a new start, but yet still some sort of an issue. Um, with a Pisces woman is not yet over. Um, and I see um, the situation is that your wishes and dream is not yet here. Um, and I see a, a letter is going to be coming in um, advising you of something that you were not aware of. So um, expect some sort of a news. Um, this news could be coming in. Um and this news is going to be advising you of something. So this year is going to be like a lot of information is coming in, but expect some sort of a news that is going to be coming up. You're going to be receiving some form of a news, uh, um, that sort of a situation, and you're going to be understanding what exactly is happening. So there. So you have no, which is Omega. So it's as if you have to reconnect with yourself because of some sort of an issue that you got caught up in. So you have zero, you have six, and you have nine. And they're in the reverse. Six and nine is in six is that you have not finished, completed a cycle. Nine is that, uh, you know, the cycle is not yet finished. So your dreams and wishes cannot come through because there is some sort of a um, investigation or something that is going on around you. Uh, so I'm moving forward. Um, let's look at the people who were born on the 19th. Another Sagittarian um, ending is coming for you guys that was born on the 19th. Um, a cycle is ending. You're trying to get away. Some sort of a transition is going to be coming in. Some sort of a changes is going to be coming in. Um, so if you were dealing with some horrible issues that has to do with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion men, I see an end is coming in for a um, um Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion man, because they realized that this man and his wife had lied and create some sort of a false height and deceptiveness. So uh, uh, these two people are um, these two people are married, or they run a business, or they are um, connected together. But I see. Debt is coming up for a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion woman and her husband. Um, these two people could be two different people um, that some of you are dealing with, but they are 45 years and older. And I see an end is going to be coming up um, for these two people, whether man or woman. You can see it. They're in the reverse. 
um, because a transition is coming up for them. If you're in a relationship or married to a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion man, there is some sort of a transition that is going to be coming up for this person. An end is coming in to this person. This person could have worked with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion woman to do something and they are finding out. So you guys who were born under 19 is going to have a new start. I see a new start is going to be coming in for your financial stability and your business because they realize that the, um, um, two people try to create some sort of a problems for you. Um, if you have a sister, a mother who is in four to five years and older, this person could be sick. There is going to be a new start, but the man, no, there won't be a new start for the man, but for the woman, yes. Okay. So we have debt. Debt is transition, but if it's, if a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion woman, 50 years and 50 years, then older, four to five years and older was sick. This person will have a new start. This person will get better. But the man, no, there is no um, new start for this man for whatever he had done. They have found out the lies and deceptiveness of this man. So you have debt and you're dealing with a old Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person. Um, a lot of you are going to be finding out a whole lot of information. And um, a lot of you are going to be getting out of some sort of a hardship. And I see a new start is going to be coming in. So some of you, um, some sort of a letter could be coming in that is going to be letting you know that a situation is uh, now over and a resolution is going to be here for you. And this is going to be good. So we are moving on to the people who were born on the 20th. Happy birthday. Um, so I see that the people who were born on the 20th, if your mother is a scorpion, I see some sort of a news is coming from this scorpion. Whoever your mom is, whether it's your mom, whether it's your sister, whether it's uh, um, your manager, whether it's your boss, um, you are going to be dealing with a whole lot of situation with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion person, some sort of a news. Um, it is not going to be an happy news. Maybe it is uh, your wife that wants a divorce. However, this is coming up. Um, but I see this information is going to be coming in for you. Then I see some sort of a secrecy um, over a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion man. This man could be a businessman that some of you are dealing with. It could be your husband. Some sort of a secrecy and a whole lot of money about this man has came out. And people are definitely finding out the truth of this man. Um, so a lot of you, whoever this man is, um, it is a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion. This man is 45 years and older. And some sort of information is coming out about this man. And you're going to be finding out the truth. And you're going to, there's emotions around um, this situation. Whatever is happening and transpiring, there is a whole lot of emotion, emotion around this situation because what is happening is that uh, something about this man, um, where some of you could find out that this man has took money that was yours. And uh, they're going to be finding out that this man has been lying and as took money um that was for you guys whoever this man is is coming up as a father it could be a businessman it could be a family relative but it is a pisces cancer scorpion and uh, they're going to be finding out that this man has uh, um either access um your information and took money that was not for him and they're going to be finding out the truth of what this person had done so again, ladies and gentlemen, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up so that these videos can um, reach a lot of people. People need the message. Some people can't afford a reading. For the people who can afford a reading, it is good to, um, uh, it is really, really good to offer or ask for a reading um, because this helps you um, in the months to come. I gotta go. Please like and share these videos. Uh, thumbs up and look out for your um, abundance of money reading for um, the Capricorn season. I love you guys. Gotta go. Namaste.